In the previous video, we translated a BRD file from Allegro PCB Editor to ANSYS SI Wave and ANSYS HFSS 3D Layout. In this video, we will translate an MCM file using A-Links. We'll also drag and drop MCM and BRD files directly into SI Wave. Open Cadence Allegro Package Designer. Go to File Open. Navigate to the MCM file and select it. Ensure that the file filter is set to Package Multi-Chip. Click Open. The package opens in Allegro Package Designer. Make all the layers visible. First, let's take stock of this layout as it appears in Allegro. Open the cross-section editor. There are four conductor layers, three dielectric layers, and one die layer. The die and conductor layers are assigned copper, while the dielectric layer is FR4. Click Cancel. Next, we'll generate a component pin report. Bring up the Reports dialog as shown. Double-click Component Pin Report to select it. Click the Generate Reports button. This report gives details of all of the pins, and also the net names to which the pins are attached. For now, minimize this report. Close the Reports dialog. Go to the ANSYS A-Links menu and select Launch SI Wave with A-Links. The Start SI Wave dialog appears. The checkbox to use reference designators to identify components is selected by default. Click OK on the Start SI Wave dialog. A-Links launches ANSYS SI Wave and imports the MCM file from Allegro Package Designer via A-Links. The translator presents a list of all the nets in the design. For this MCM file, there are 275 nets to import. You can choose to import all the nets or just select the ones you want. Here we'll import all the nets. Click the Import Configuration button to start the import. The MCM file is now imported into SI Wave. Fill and show all the layers. Now open the Layer Stackup Editor. Compare it with Allegro's cross-section editor. We see that the conductors, planes, and dielectric layers came in correctly. Notice that the die layer in Allegro translates to a zero-thickness wire bond layer in SI Wave. This is normal. The three-dimensional profiles of bond wires are stored separately from the layer stackup in SI Wave. By default, a JEDEC four-point model is used. Close the stackup editor now. You can view the properties of all the nets in the single ended nets window. Scroll down to the dummy net. The dummy net comes into SI Wave as hidden by default. A dummy net usually consists of entities which have no net assignment in the original layout tool. Right-click the dummy net and click Show to unhide it. If you want, you can do a check that all of the pins for the selected nets came in correctly. Expand Integrated Circuits Die D1. Then bring up the Component Pin Report. We see that the die has 388 pins and they are all there in SI Wave. The same is true for the BGA side. The pins that are on unnamed nets in Allegro will be part of the dummy net in SI Wave. Next, we'll export this MCM file from SI Wave directly to HFSS 3D Layout. To do this, go to the Export tab. Click the HFSS 3D Layout option to open the Export HFSS 3D Layout project window. We'll use the recommended automatic mode of net selection for exporting the design. Click OK. ANSYS Electronics Desktop launches automatically. and the MCM file opens in an HFSS 3D layout project. All the exported pins have excitations automatically assigned to them. Notice that SI Wave automatically creates ports where the signal nets terminate in a bond wire or a solder ball. In the Components window, expand IC Die and IOBGA. There are 379 pins for the die and 335 pins for the BGA, less than 388 in each case. This is because the automatic mode does not export the pins connected to the dummy net. If you need to export geometry from the dummy net, use the manual export mode. In this mode, select all the nets or just the ones you want. Under the Home tab, click Select All. This selects all the geometry in the design. The dummy net is also included. Go to the Export tab. Select the HFSS 3D Layout option. 
You can use Manual or Legacy mode here. If you want, you can also rename the AEDD project. Click OK. Electronics Desktop launches, and the MCM file opens in HFSS 3D layout. Expand the IC die and the IOBGA. All the pins connected to the dummy net were also exported. An alternative to the approach we've just shown, which doesn't require you to run the Cadence user interface, is to simply drag and drop the MCM file directly into SIWAVE, as shown here. This direct import method requires a Cadence installation on the machine with a Cadence Extract A executable. No licenses are actually checked out. Remember, the free Allegra viewer is not sufficient. The drag and drop method brings up the list of nets to import. In this case, there are 266 nets shown, nine less than the 275 nets that we saw during the A-Lynx export method. This is because in this direct import method, the nine not used nets are merged into the unassigned nets. The unassigned net becomes the dummy net in SIWAVE. You can also drag and drop the MCM file to Electronics Desktop. This drag and drop operation opens the Extract A import window. Here you can select the nets you want to import. If you want the dummy net, select this checkbox. Click OK. The MCM file opens directly in HFSS 3D layout. You can select the display mode to default, solid, or sketch. Make all the layers visible. This drag and drop operation is also valid for Allegro BRD files and system in package or SIP files. For example, drag and drop the BRD file into ANSYS SIWAVE. The Xilinx board is imported into SIWAVE. This concludes Part 5. Tune in to Part 6 to continue watching this movie series on translating ECAD databases to ANSYS.